what it do my babes welcome or welcome back to my channel it's your girl tink here and i know i know i know before y'all say this girl is very very inconsistent and every time she starts a vlog she's saying she's gonna be consistent i know i know i know but your girl has been through a lot this last year and i know i think the last video that i made was an empty apartment tour which I am still in that same apartment at this time, but it was an empty apartment tour. And I told you guys that I would come back on there and tell you exactly what happened with that. <clears throat> and I never got around to coming and tell you that story or to give you like an update. Well, here I am to give you guys an update because I am in a little bit more better spirits and all of that, but a lot has happened within this last year. Um, all of that happened in September, of last year and here it is almost September of 2022 and the lease is coming up in this apartment and we are no longer going to be living here we are definitely moving so stay tuned to that because I am giving an empty apartment tour very soon within the next two weeks or so actually <clears throat> so I'm sitting here at my desk my babies I'm sitting here at my computer desk because I work from home as many of you may know or not know <clears throat> but I, I, work, I currently work from home yeah so the job that i'm speaking of now is not the uh current uh, job that i have been working on in previous videos i currently work for a totally different company and i am grateful for the new journey for the snow company uh the last job i had working from home they fired me after almost three years for in my opinion wrongful termination and in a lot of people's opinion so if you guys want the story time on that leave a comment down below and i will definitely get a video up for you guys but anywho that did lead me to this job not only if i'm i'm not only am i working from home but the pay is better the benefits are better and everything is just overall better with the company and i'm so grateful that that happened because like I said, everything happens for a reason. Really? So I'm on my lunch break right now. I did eat already, so I'm just kind of waiting around. Excuse my appearance. I do apologize. I do need a retwist done and I need a wax done on my eyebrows. It's just a lot. But anyways, <clears throat> this is the real me on a regular, regular basis. So anywho, um, how have you guys been? I miss talking to the camera, actually. I miss talking to you guys. And so I decided to go ahead and pick up this camera and give y'all a little tea, a little, little details, a little deets or whatever of what's been going on so I can um, get you prepared and to uh, do like a moving series because <clears throat> I think I'm going to do a moving series. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to show too much of us packing um we're definitely hiring movers this time because the last two times we moved it's like <clears throat> we did it all by ourselves two two adults and a child okay so that's not going to happen so we're definitely hiring movers this time and the packing process is not going to be too much because we don't have a lot we're going to get rid of a lot because we want to start over fresh um but i might do like little clips of me leading up to the apartment as far as like the moving process um i'll probably you know chime in a day a couple of days here and let you know what the process is going and what i'm doing <clears throat> and then i'll show you guys the empty apartment tour and then from that i'm going to do an um apartment series where i basically kind of just update you guys as far as the furnished apartment tour because i don't think i want to do a full one furnished apartment tour i think i'm gonna do room by room because um decorating and all of that is going to be a process and i want it to be you know i don't want to do everything all at once so i'm going to take it room by room and then i will take you guys along with me and if you guys want to see that <clears throat> and you are new i want you to stop what you're doing you see that little that little bell down there well not only that before that you see that word subscribe in that box go ahead and make sure it says subscribed and not subscribe okay so go subscribe to my channel then hit that bell so you can be notified every time i post a video leave comments suggestions send love all of that good stuff down in the comment sections below and then make sure you tell a friend to tell your mama auntie uncle 
cousin, brother, sister, twice removed on your on your dad's side <laughs> to come check out me because it's Tink's World, baby. And on, on a good note on that, I think I'm going to change the, the title of my um, channel. Um, granted, my name is Tink. I get called by Tink, but I think I want to go ahead and make it a little bit more personal and base it off of my actual name. So who knows? But <clears throat> I think I want to do that and uh, change the title of my channel. So that might be coming soon. New intro, new outro, all of that good stuff. Um, so just be aware of that. Look for that. But anywho, enough of my chit-chatting on that. Um, I know you guys came on here to hear what's been going on with me. So, um, and just to give you a little details, like I said, we, we moved here about September of last year after being in a hotel for a month because of an abrupt putting out of our previous home. Um, and it was so unexpected because we were there to help this individual or to help these individuals out and just i felt in my in my opinion just got you know put out for no reason basically um i was in my the before the last video i made i made some videos with you know a week in the life and um all of that good stuff a week in the life um my pregnancy video on how I got pregnant and things like that and you seen the baby boy which he's in his room sleep right now um but you guys had seen him as a little baby that apartment I I actually just ended my lease there that was um in June of last year that I ended the lease well actually the year before that I think it was no that year it was June of last year that I ended the lease right in 2021 I, had, I, I basically finished my lease out. Um, I chose not to renew my lease because um, the boyfriend that I have now, we had just started dating. We had both had separate apartments. We decided that we were going to live together, but we wanted to move away from the area that I was currently in because um, it just felt like very unsafe anyways. Uh, and we had the new baby and everything. So <clears throat> we just decided that we would move away from that area. And in the middle of us actually deciding on where we were going to go and what we wanted to do, uh, we had got offered by his family members to help them out in their home. And then we could save up and be able to save money uh, to, you know, to do what we wanted to do. So reluctantly, we went and was there. Like I said, my lease was up in June and his lease wasn't up until I think July or August. And so we were there during that time period and then things just took a drastic change i was there getting my business together you guys oh i think i did videos there too as a matter of fact i uploaded videos there <clears throat> from starting my business um because i started my business in my apartment but then the entrepreneur videos actually came when i moved when we moved to that house and the setting that I was in was like the little office area, which was another bedroom that they allowed us to have. Um, and so it was basically my work area and my business area. So I was working from home still at my regular nine to five. And I was also doing my business, which is Danny Lee Glantique, baby. Right now, website is down, but it's coming back up. Anyway, <laughs> back to the subject. But yeah, so I was doing my business there as well. I started it up there and everything package orders did a couple of videos if you guys have seen them if not go and check them out and then all of a sudden everything was okay and then all of a sudden it's just a drastic turn i don't want to get, get into details because i'm not going to put their business out there like that on who it was or whatnot and just know that it was it was not meant for us to be there that's all i can say because everything happens for a reason i say you know so it wasn't meant for us to be there we got put out no reason at no no legit reason at all and by us getting put out like like y'all gotta go right right now with the child matter of fact he wasn't even walking yet um so we just basically had to get into a room um until we could find an apartment so luckily uh we did have friends that would um that was able to get us a room to where we were kind of being able we paid for a week 
and then we were going to pay for another week but we ended up able to get a couple of weeks actually no cost to us and we were very 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 grateful for that i, I truly am grateful for that because basically we were in the hotel for a month and only had to pay about a week um of stay so we was very grateful for that but you know time comes you know you don't want to over you know overstep your boundaries with help that people are giving you so therefore um you know we had to quickly find an apartment and get into it like it was like we were looking for an apartment and trying to get into it within a week so it was very very quick and that's where this apartment that i'm in now came about i really don't want to show you guys anything um oh, i'm just i ordered doordash and i got notifications sorry guys so um I apologize. I just was looking up the update. So I don't want to go ahead and go into showing you guys the apartment because, of course, we've got our stuff in here and everything like that. Like I said, we've been living here for a year, but it took us a minute to actually bring our stuff from the storage to this apartment because of what happened. So to get into that, we moved in here September 23rd or 22nd um, because the lease is up September 23rd here. I think we moved here the 23rd or the 24th of September or something like last year. And um, the, it was one of those situations where I think basically they were just trying to get you in type of thing. So they make it all look good. Peaches and cream look real nice by the time, you know, for you to get your stuff um, and get approved and get in. And then once you get in, it's like, you know, throw them to the back burner. You know, forget that. You know, we got them in. That's it. That's all we need. It's like a money hungry type of thing because I believe these leasing agents do get some type of percentage of the people that they do get moved in. And it's like that's the type of feel that we got. So it's like we seen the apartment. We basically had to rent and lease that same day um, because that's how eager and that's how we, we basically needed it. And we didn't have time to really shop around nowhere. But we looked at the apartment. It was a it's nice size. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice size. For a two bedroom to bath is very nice and spacious the living room the rooms um the bath it's very nice and spacious except for the bathroom and the master bed i feel this uh, a little crumped up but other than that the rooms were spacious so we seen that was like okay looks pretty decent went ahead and applied got approved you know moved in the very first night that we were here my car got towed mind you we paid for a parking spot Pay for two parking spots. Pay for it with the rent. You gave us the parking spot number that we have. Went ahead and parked in those parking spots, but still got towed. Make it make sense, right? So, of course, we were up the next morning at the office because we were not paying for no tow truck. We were not paying to get our car out of the pond, and we're not we're not paying to go get our car. You're going to either send an Uber or you're going to bring the car to us and. We're not paying for anything because we pay for this parking and y'all are not. Yes, there's no excuse. We pay for it. It was y'all fault. Y'all should have had your stuff together and all of that. That's the first sign that they didn't have they ish together in the office or their paperwork or anything. It wasn't lining up because, of course, what we had um, in the system was under our name as far as the parking spot. And the tow truck people had it under our name, too. But the parking spot that it actually belonged to is on the peop the neighbor's lease. So the neighbors who had actually had the parking spot, it was attached to their lease. But it just wasn't in the system that it was theirs. Right? So, yeah. That was that. That was the very, very first day. Literally, the first day. wasn't. We weren't even here 24 hours before that happened, okay? That was that. All right, we got our car back. We was like, you know, that really kind of messed us up. Like, that just really kind of teed us off because, like, what? All right, so a couple of weeks went by. Like, all of the stuff happened within the first month, okay, of us being here. A couple of weeks went by, and, um, you know, we're okay. Then we had an incident where I'm not going to get too far into details. Just know the cops got involved. Um, and it's not because of us, but we made a report on the incident that happened to the cops and we just basically kind of not felt safe because we had just got here and like why is why was this incident happening uh we didn't get into it with nobody or nothing like that 
Um, and so it just was very, very weird. I think my door dash is here. Give me one moment. Give me one moment. Alrighty, I'm back. So, um, as I was saying, and that was my DoorDash delivery. So, um, as I was saying, um, with that incident, we went ahead and actually got video cameras for the house. So we have the ring. Well, it's not the ring, but um, <clears throat> it's from an actual security company. Um, to where we have the doorbell camera for the doorbell, and then we have. Um, the panel on the inside of the home with a camera on the inside of the home so we had got that the next day basically after that incident happened and um granted you the um gates and things like that you know how they say the gates are open during business hours it will close after office close well that was the case that they told us and um that was one of the major things that we asked because like i said we have a, a newborn we have a toddler well, he's a toddler now, but <clears throat> we had an infant and it was like the safety was important, especially when I stay at home with him and my boyfriend's pretty much going to work during the day. So it's important that we were staying safe in his eyes. And he asked about the gates being open because, of course, they were open when we came and toured the property. She was like, oh, no, yeah, they will be closed. Um, they're only open during office hours. They close after the office is closed. And you have your gate code. She gave us a gate code and everything like that. And that was for both gates because there's one over by the office and then there's one closer to where we stay because <clears throat> we literally stay right by the gate where we can hear the street. That's why if you hear cars and stuff passing in the background, we stay right by the street. Um, and the gate is like literally I can look out our bedroom door and see who's coming in and out of the gate our bedroom window or whatever and so yeah so it was like that incident and the gates never closed after office hours they never closed at all and it was like that for months and we complained about that after we made the report about um having to add video cameras we told the office what happened and we didn't feel safe and this and that and the third and we told them about the gate being open because anybody can come in and out and they don't belong here and they can still have access to the apartment and and to add to that uh we noticed or we seen people that will go in and out the office because we was in the office almost all the time and people kept complaining about their tires just coming flat out of nowhere um, in the middle of the night and things like that. So we learned that there were actually kids that were going through the apartments and putting people's on, tires on flat. And that was another issue because if it was going to be one of our cars, it was going to be a total a total problem. So yeah, that was another issue. And so that was just like very uneasy for us for a while. The gate still never went, really got fixed for a long time. I mean, a long time. It took a couple of months. It took months before it actually got fixed. Um, we went as far as contacting the rental management company, not only the office of the apartments, but the actual management company of the property. We contacted them several times um, about the situation. And it was like, it was just nothing was ever getting done. So we already automatically knew within the first three months of us living here that we were not renewing our lease. We didn't want to do a breaking of the lease or whatever and have that on our name. So we wanted to, we just knew we weren't renewing the lease. So we were going to have to stick it out. So we are just living day by day. It took us about a couple of months. It took about two months before we actually got our stuff from the storage to put it in here. Once we realized we were going to have to just stick it out here. Because at first we were just going to be like, you know what, we're going to up and leave. Forget it. We were just going to up and leave. We were going to do a broken lease. But then we thought about it. it was like no we're trying to make sure that the credit gets good so that the next move we make we move after this one is going to be to a home a house and purchasing a home possibly so um we just like once we decided that we weren't going to go anywhere we went ahead and got the stuff out of storage which again that was like two and a half three months down the line we went ahead and got the rest of our stuff out of storage um we, we went and got a bed too uh, of course um, and we're here now we fast forward a little bit time goes on I um, we started seeing mold in the bathrooms and stuff like that we reported that never got fixed never got done I'm trying to hurry up and finish and rush because I got to go back to work soon but um, 
that never got done that still hasn't got done and that's the most recent thing that has happened in this apartment and besides the little incident about um some other stuff that i'd rather not talk about because people might watch my videos and i really don't got time for the mess or whatever so um yeah besides all of that we just basically wanted a fresh start and we are getting one and the last thing that i did want to add is that i had recently lost my grandmother uh within this last year as well i forgot to mention that my grandmother actually passed july 4th um i think it was july 4th of this year or the 5th and that took another toll on me because that was my baby when you see my grandma you see me um as a child and so i was always with her and everything like that um and so when she, i still can't believe it to this day that she's gone but that's another reason why i was in a mood i was in for the last year and that just kind of topped the cake for me um i carry her ashes because she was cremated i carry them with me um around all day every day but yeah that's another thing that happened um rest in peace to my lovely grandmother uh, i miss you dearly love you even more and say hello to my mom for me come september 17th of this year we will be in our new home somewhere in an area where like people will say um they can call me bujetta i'm a bougie person i i can i can uh, agree to that i like nicer things i like things to be basically up and up because i'm a i'm a bougie person I'm, just, I'm i can agree to that i like to be a little bougie but i can be a little i'm not gonna say ghetto because i'm not but bougetto is the best way to put it because at the end of the day i i'm not totally i'm totally white or whatnot <laughs> or whatever you want to put it but i do like the nicer things and I will pay for it if I have to to get those nicer things. I'm not gonna cheapskate myself anymore to basically settle for something that I really don't want. So um, it's about time for me to get back to work, but I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on. Like I said, stay tuned, subscribe. The new apartment tour is coming very soon, honey, very soon. And I cannot wait. I'm super, super excited. Like I said, today is August 29th. It, uh, we move in on September 17th. And we still are here till September 23rd. But we get our keys to our new place on September 17th. I'm going to take you along with the empty apartment tour. Um, with... Um, setting it up decorating and all of that so just stay tuned if you like this video make sure you share like comment subscribe do all of that good stuff and make sure everybody come check out tink squirrel because it's lit baby peace